Hi everyone, it's Aisha Bo here and today I'm gonna do a lipstick haul slash I guess get ready with me slash catch up video. Just something casual to get our minds off of everything that's going on. going on I just I don't know about you but I kind of feel like I just want to get my mind off of the negativity the um, the difficulty all the hardships that are happening right now and so this week I decided to do something laid back fun um, just a little kind of like one-on-one -on -one type video uh, because I haven't done one of these in a really long time and usually when I do it's like a Q&A um, or it's a get ready with me this time I'm just chilling <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all some of my favorite lipsticks and glosses and I'm gonna just catch you up on things that are going on in my life and you know just make those of you who are my new followers just a little bit better acquainted with me just something really laid back I don't necessarily have a plan on how exactly this video will go but I'm gonna walk you through some lipsticks and I'm gonna do a little chatting in between if you're looking for a tutorial this is not the video this time just stay tuned for my next one <laughs> so before we get into any of the chatting I want to talk about some of the lipsticks that I have here so I have a variation I have some that are like liquid mattes, some lip glosses um, and then I have one that's like a traditional lipstick. I'm looking at the selection right now and I just realized that I really don't like regular lipstick that much. I'm really big on a liquid matte lip. I feel like the finish is always so good. So I'm going to start from the ones that are, I guess, more neutral and lighter shades and then go into the ones that are a little bit richer um, and deeper just because those more rich colors kind of stay in your lips and so they might show through the others. So I'm going to start off with this Glossier um, lip gloss. Y'all see me wear this all the time in like almost all of my videos. This is my absolute favorite lip gloss. It's a clear gloss and I can literally wear it every single day. So I'm just going to swipe that off for y'all. Oh, oh, oh. I wish this was alive so I could be like, so what are you guys doing today? Um, well, for me, being at home, I actually work from home, so I'm pretty used to this routine. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't have a mirror right here. I have a mirror. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty used to this routine of working from home, but I'm used to like working from home Monday to Friday, uh, and then at least having like a few happy hour drinks splashed in the middle or dinner splashed in the middle and then maybe do like brunch on Saturday and then like be relaxing on Sunday but now it's just like the exact same thing every single day so I'm trying to get used to that how are you liking my my gloss it's like the perfect gloss because it's not too it's not like too sticky but it's substantial enough where it actually shows that like really nice like lacquered finish and honestly it goes with everything like I can wear this on a night out I can wear this during the day um, whenever it's like casual if I'm not wearing any makeup I throw on this lip gloss and it's one of my favorites so as some of you know if you saw my home for the holiday video I got engaged oh my gosh I'm so excited I got engaged in December so I'm gonna wipe this off I'm using the simple compostable cleaning wipes so these are you know a little bit better for the environment not as wasteful as regular um, cleansing wipes so I'm just gonna wipe off that way um, so I got engaged in December to my then boyfriend now fiance David and I am really really happy because we actually recently locked in a date for our wedding we're gonna get married September 18 2021 um so the wedding is not necessarily being affected by everything that's happening right now which i'm really really grateful for um the reason we're pushing our wedding date to 2021 is because we're actually doing a destination wedding in portugal <laughs> so the next lip color that i'm going to use it's by the lip oh well yeah it's by the lip bar and this is 
one of my other favorite glosses, but this one is like my favorite like color gloss, I guess. And this one, what is it called? It's called Miss Independent. Love this gloss. I get a lot of compliments whenever I wear this gloss in any of my YouTube videos. I am obsessed with it. It's a really beautiful brown that goes really well with everything. It's like a nice nude. So we're getting, ma we're getting married in Portugal in 2021. And the reason we chose Portugal is because David and I actually, if you follow, watch my videos, you know that I love to travel. Like I really, really love traveling. And one of the first international trips that David and I took together as a couple was to Portugal. And this was within like the first year of us dating. So Portugal to us is like a really special place. And because of the fact that we both love, love, love traveling so much, I figured why not do something in another country and take it up a notch um, from the regular destination weddings that um, a lot of people have, like usually in like the Caribbean and whatnot. Not knocking those weddings, I'm just saying that like, you know, this is like a really like big trip. <laughs> <laughs> for a lot of people it's gonna be their first time going to Europe their first time on such a long flight even though the flight isn't that much longer than if you were to go from New York to LA it's still a pretty lengthy flight so I'm really excited about that and having all of my friends and family in another country together it's gonna to be like a really fun experience for a lot of people and I'm really really excited to experience that with them and show them something that we love in a place that we love so much so I'm hype y'all I'm ready for Portugal and you know I'm gonna be like filming things along the way as we like prepare so I will definitely keep you guys in the loop so what are we thinking of this lip color let me see We like it do we like it maybe i should brighten this up a little bit so you guys can uh can see it a little bit better let's see i love this lip color like absolutely love this lip color and it's like a neutral color but it kind of gives me a little bit of like pink in a way which is really nice so it usually brings out my blush this color is great at night especially or like when i'm wearing black and i want to do like kind of like a sexy look i usually wear this lip gloss um i'll maybe wear it to brunch every so often but this lip gloss does i'm not gonna lie it does get kind of all over the place <laughs> so i have to be careful with it um uh, i'm surprised it didn't get on my teeth yet but nevertheless, this is like literally one of my favorite lip colors. Obsessed with it. Uh, so for our wedding in Portugal, <laughs> I love how I'm just like my favorite lip color. For our wedding in Portugal, uh, we decided to get wedding planners. Uh, I actually used to be a fashion publicist before I decided to go full time with being an influencer and a writer. Uh, so as a fashion publicist, I actually put on a lot of events from start to finish, whether that was for like New York Fashion Week or just like a regular press event or um, like a launch event and whatnot. But so I figured, okay, you know what, I'm just going to do this entire thing by myself. Like I can do a wedding. But because of the fact that it's in Portugal and I don't speak Portuguese fluently, like I know how to say thank you, good morning, hello. <laughs> But I don't know if that's going to help you to plan a wedding. So we decided to get some planners so that they can be our people like on the ground in Portugal for us and help to kind of like kickstart the entire process and be the liaison between all the vendors and whatnot. Again, because there's no language barrier on their end. So we got this really, really, really amazing, um, these two women, uh, Bruna and Rita, and they have a company called Muzo Weddings. And oh my goodness, they do the most beautiful, beautiful work. I'm gonna try to flash some across the screen so you guys can see it. And I don't necessarily, this next color, <laughs> this next color is by Liquid Courage. Oh my God, I've had this lip color for years. 
um, and it's the shade Toffee. So this is a liquid matte color and this is a nice brown. Love this brown. I don't know, I guess we're seeing a little trend here. Well, actually no, there's only two browns that I've showed you, but <laughs> I love this brown. It's a really nice neutral color. Um, you can wear it in the spring or in the winter for a nice fall look. It's so, it, you'll see, you'll see. So they um, are gonna be helping us to put everything together and like they've already like reached out to vendors on our behalf and have like recommended vendors for us so that we, um, you know, we have some options to choose from. I think the only thing that I'm really sad about is I really wanted to work with majority like black vendors for my wedding but honestly trying to find all black vendors in Portugal is really difficult finding them here in New York or New Jersey is easy but overseas is tough it's, it's definitely definitely tricky all right let's see let's see what y'all think about this one mmm yes this color is nice and it has like a little bit of more sheen to it right now because I just put on some lip balm. And so my lip balm is making it a little bit shinier than it usually is. But this is like a true matte. Um, it has like a true matte finish. Love this brown, super rich. It goes with a lot of different colors. So if you wanna kind of, if you wanna switch it up, you don't necessarily wanna wear like a pink or a red or a purple. Um, this is like a really nice, happy medium because it blends really well with any colors that you're wearing so this color i like to wear it when i like if i am wearing a red or uh if i'm wearing like a lighter color i definitely like to throw this this brown on and it just makes it like makes the look a little bit more sophisticated it's really sexy love it absolutely love it and the brand liquid courage is a black owned brand yes black woman owned also the lip bar is black woman owned i really tried to buy products from um like black beauty and beauty business owners because it's really important that we support each other especially because of the fact that a lot of these these beauty brands didn't start catering to a number of different skin types colors etc until fenty beauty dropped so i really do try to support as many black women founders as possible so what was i talking about oh yeah the wedding planners love them they're amazing really excited i wanted to do some black wedding planners but couldn't find any in portugal but it's okay it's okay we got it we got this so switching off of wedding talk for a second i mentioned a few videos ago but i recently started a podcast yes a podcast um i have wanted to do a podcast for a really really long time like two years <laughs> um oh yeah and shout out to the fact that i have been working on my own um as an entrepreneur as an influencer for two years this month made it two years um it was i think my first day was like april like the beginning of april when um like two years ago when i went out on my own and i was really scared and didn't know <laughs> what would come of it but you know it's been it's definitely been a journey it's been a long road some days are a lot harder than others um but i wouldn't trade it for the world honestly like i'm really really proud of myself for taking such a, a huge leap of faith and i know that it'll, it'll definitely definitely pay off in the long run so i'm just keep hanging in there but i started my podcast it's called rewritten and it's available on Apple Podcasts, App, uh, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher. Uh, it's on my blog in case you don't have any of those. So you can stream it live from my blog. And I think that's it so far. I'm waiting for Pandora um, to approve it and one more place to approve it. But for the most part, it is everywhere that podcasts are. Um, so make sure you go listen on it. I made sure that it's really, qu it's quick. So it's something, it's all the episodes are between seven to 10 minutes because I want people to have like inspirational nuggets. So the next color <laughs> is from NARS and it's called Dolce Vita and it's a sheer lipstick. So this is a real lipstick y'all and it's sheer 
So it's gonna be a little shiny. So let me actually wipe down some of this uh, lip balm that I put on because I don't want it to be too, too, too shiny because it's not gloss. But, um, what was it? oh yeah, so I wanted to do like really quick episodes that would help uplift and motivate people um, that help them kickstart their day or like at the end of the day. And I just wanted to like share or talk about different topics that are like important to me about like, like this week I'm talking about relationships and vulnerability in relationships and why being vulnerable with your partner is really, really important in creating a lasting relationship because if you're open and you're vulnerable with someone else, you're essentially letting them into your life in return. Um, and then it's a, it's a good way to get to the root of the problem. In the event that you're arguing with someone or someone who's hurt your feelings, who you're in a relationship with, a lot of times it's something deeper than just a surface level issue. And when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, then you open up and they can truly get your point of view, see where you're coming from, see how they hurt you. And without you know being vulnerable, you don't necessarily always get, at, get that. So this color, is literally like the only true pink that is of my favorites because it's subtle. Like I like, you know, in theory, I like pink lipstick. Ooh, this is like, oh my god. So in theory, I like pink lipstick. Like I see it on other people and I think it's really, really pretty, but I don't always find a pink that I love. And this one, I feel like it's really nice. <laughs> I'm looking at these. I'm really hoping that the full colors are coming across. I don't have like my ring light on right now or anything. This is all like natural sunlight. So I hope that you guys can actually see the color. Don't leave any comments saying that I'm putting on the same colors <laughs> because they are starting to look really similar. But you know, I like what I like, okay? So, um, yeah, so my podcast, you know, just short, uplifting, real. Um, inspirational and you know if you happen to be interested in that kind of stuff be sure to listen I'll drop a link down below so that you can subscribe and if you have Apple Podcasts or iTunes leave a comment um, or, or leave a review and rate it that would be so 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 helpful because then it'll make more people find my podcast so what do we think do we like this pink it's like a nice subtle pink which I love. And this one is great for daytime um, or like happy hour. I've worn this to happy hour a few times and I've worn this during the day before too. This I like to wear when I'm wearing like nudes or like tan colored shirts and, or outfits, um, things that are like in the brown family because then again, it gives me that cute like pop of pink and it's really like soft and subtle and it goes really well with like a nice blush. Not too much blush, but like a nice uh, like sheer blush. So that's that NARS. Love it. Let me wipe this thing off. Uh, but yeah, my podcast is, is the newest thing that I have going on right now. I did recently apply to be part of the hashtag Sephora squad. And so that's essentially a, um, it's like a community of beauty influencers who like uplift and inspire their communities. And, you have to apply to be a part of it and then they accept you. Um, and then if you are accepted, you get like per personal and professional coaching on like how to build your influence influencer brand. Also, you get invited to like different networking events. Um, you have the opportunity for like brand partnerships with the brands that are at Sephora. Uh, you get free products, <laughs> all that stuff. So I applied. I'm still pretty relatively small on Instagram, but you know, I feel like I have great things to say and I really hope that I can be part of that community. Um, if you want to help a sister out, I'll leave a link down below. You can leave a testimonial for me and that's supposed to like boost my opportunity to become part of it. So if you can, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, so back to wedding stuff. Well, well, when it comes to my hair and my makeup, all right. So let's, let's get into that. That's a very important conversation to be had. Um, <laughs> my makeup, 
I'm definitely gonna get my makeup done. I'm definitely gonna have a professional do my makeup. I like the way I beat my face, but on my wedding day, I want it to be beat down. I keep joking with my fiance and telling him I wanna look like one of the drag queens on RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> on our wedding day. But I really want my face to be beat, not that hard. It's not gonna be beat that hard, but I want it to be beat down a little bit. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. <laughs> Trying to stop a little bit, okay? Flex on, flex on with something a little different. So, makeup, I think I'll be okay. I've seen a few looks that I really like. Um, I think I wanna do like a smoky eye for my rehearsal dinner and then for the actual wedding. Obviously something soft, obviously red lip. My fiance is here right now and I don't, I don't really care that he knows that, but I'm warning him ahead of time. I will be wearing a red lip because a red lip is like my thing. It's like my look. So that will be happening. But um, makeup look, I'm not worried about. Hair, I just need, I just need a moment. Oh, well, <laughs> to give me that moment, um, let me talk about this next lip color. So this is Il Maquillage. And this color, what is it called? It's called Matte Trouble. Love this color. Now this color was like my fall color. I was wearing this a lot. It's like a, a very rich, deep, dark red. Really nice um, for evenings. Very sexy color to wear out at night. Uh, I don't see myself wearing it much during the day in the sum in the spring summer. But if I am going out at night, maybe if there's like a, if we have like a date night or something, then I'll probably wear this. But for fall get you this color it's it's so 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 good um, and again this is another matte color or dries down matte um, so hair uh, your guess is as good as mine on how I'm gonna do my hair for my wedding <laughs> like I have an idea for my um, for my rehearsal dinner what I want to do but for my actual wedding day I don't know yet and here's the kicker. I've decided to do my own hair for my wedding. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to be in the bathroom trying to do a twist out the night before my wedding, freaking out. Oh my Lord. Well, hopefully not, hopefully not. Hopefully I won't be freaking out. But I decided to do my own hair because as mentioned, it is really difficult to find a lot of black vendors in Portugal and when it comes to my hair I don't play at all and I'm not about to risk having someone do my hair who you know who doesn't really know how to work with my particular texture so I'm just gonna do it myself save myself the time or save myself the money because it definitely it's gonna take some time and just do it myself but I just need to figure out what exactly that style is I mean Part of me just wants to do like my usual look, like a wash and go like this. Um, but then there's another part of me that's like, I really want to do something new and fresh. You know, like I said, I want to style them. <laughs> show, show the girls a little something new. <sighs> but I just don't know what, I really don't know what. So if y'all have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below. And, I, and don't just tell me what the idea is, like send me a picture. I need like a photo. Uh, like photo inspiration so send me a picture so that I can see it and add it to my Pinterest board because I need as much help as possible I would like to do a natural hairstyle like that would be really nice because I I have not straightened my hair yet and I haven't like done like a real true like blown out straightened style before so I don't know if I want to risk it like we're having our ceremony outside and then the, you know so humidity and then the reception I'm gonna be dancing because I'm not just gonna like sit there so I'll be sweating so I'm like oh I don't know how good a straight or blown out style is going to last so I need your help PSA please mm -mm -mm. all right all right here we go okay the mat Ooh. What do y'all think of this? What do y'all think of this Il Maquillage? Let me know. Isn't it so nice? I actually might wear this during the day. It's a little, it's looking a little brighter than normal right now. I didn't even do it straight. Like, <laughs> if you look close up, it's like all crooked. Uh, but whatever, you, you get the idea, you get the idea. 
love this color we're getting closer to my absolute favorite lip color ever um, it's up next so I'm really really excited and this is this is the lip color well I don't know if I'll be wearing it on my wedding day because I want to I want to kind of like match the theme I'm not gonna talk too much about the, the theme of the colors just yet because um, some of my friends might be watching this video and I love y'all I love y'all but I want everyone to be surprised I want it to be like a ooh, like a big spectacle like when you get there you see the colors you see the setup you see like the way we look etc so I'm not gonna give too much away just yet but um, yeah so the next color the next up color is my absolute favorite color maybe I'll wear it at my rehearsal dinner or something um, so yeah tell me if you like this il maquillage but yeah so please help me figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair um, and something that I can do you know I like to keep it low maintenance so don't give me no crazy like braid like 10 braids on this side and then this is swooped in like no mm -mm. I'm, I'm gonna be like oh thank you but I'm not gonna do it so let's be realistic here because I'm doing it myself <laughs> and also I need a style that I can do well I guess I would do it the night before. I could start on it the night before like if it is if it does involve like a twist out or something I can kind of start on it the night before I don't know we'll see Ooh. all right so the next color is my all-time favorite true red lipstick ever like ever 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 now I know I, wear, I brought this out just to show you because I, I was gonna mention it but I'm not gonna put it on because you guys see me wear it a lot I know I wear this one a lot this is the Fenty Beauty um, what do they call it it's, it's uncensored yeah this is her son lip paint lip paint in uncensored I wear this a lot it's really nice but my numero uno favorite red is this one by the brand Stilla and it's the color Beso when I think I started my red lip journey <laughs> I started my red lip journey uh, I want to say I did I didn't start wearing red lipstick until after I left college and um, I was like trying different red lipsticks yada yada but one of my best friends Alexis she would wear this and that was back when it was in different packaging like this is a newer packaging that they just started doing a few years ago but she would wear this red and she was like Aisha you need this red you need this red it's the best red ever and I was like all right I guess and this is the red lipstick that made me fall in love with lipstick overall and maybe obviously fall in love with red lipstick and knowing that like a red lip is my thing but it made me know that like I look good in lipstick lipstick makes me feel good and confident and so this is the pioneer this is the pioneer I actually recently just rebought it um, because I didn't have it for a while because I've been using that one but I'm really really excited this actually inspired the video <laughs> I was like how can I show everyone my favorite lipstick without just showing it so <sighs> the texture like the quality of it it's so moisturizing it's highly pigmented um, I hate a red that you put on that's see-through drives me insane it's just so nice all right here we go i'm not going to talk through this one because i want it to come on perfectly look at how rich it is look behind <laughs> because I want you to see it's just so so rich so vibrant it goes perfectly with my skin tone and when I tell you the name does it justice it says stay all day liquid matte lipstick this lipstick stays all day like it doesn't rub off it doesn't start to fade throughout the day it doesn't smear and get everywhere I love this lipstick but it gets everywhere and it smears a lot this one, once you put it on, let that bad boy dry for a few minutes and it is, it's there until you wipe it off with a makeup remover wipe. Like this lip color really stays and I love it so much. Again, it's by Stilla. I'll have a link 
in the description box to all these colors so that you can get them yourself but I love it I love it so much and I had to share <laughs> so that was actually the last lip color that I'm gonna show um, were we talking about anything important? I can't remember. Um, I think the last thing we were talking about was my hair for the wedding that I can't figure out. So again, let me know in the comments any um, helpful words of advice. Uh, aside from that, not much new is happening in my life. Um, like the podcast is probably the most exciting thing that I'm doing right now. And I'm really just like plugging away and plugging away. Like I'm really trying to increase my audience, but also just continue to make an impact on the audience that I do have. And I really, really love all of your support, all of the kind words that you guys always share and just like how engaged you are and the fact that I have such a really great community here on YouTube. Like I love YouTube so much. If these videos didn't take so long for me to make <laughs> I would definitely be dropping like two or three videos a week but right now I'm just a one-person show so I you know try to get at least one video out to y'all a week but trust me all of your support does not go unnoticed and I just wanted to kick it I just wanted to kick it and do a little simple video for all of you anyways that is the end of the video I'm looking real cute right now, so I'm gonna take some photos <laughs> for Instagram um, and for like this this thumbnail and whatnot. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section below. Also, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, give it a like. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, join my community here or my family, I guess, here on YouTube. Um, again, thank you so much, and until next time.